Hey everyone, welcome back to The Tune Project. Today we're gonna to be learning another classic fiddle tune. This one is Cripple Creek, so I hope you'll stay tuned and learn this one with me today. And before we jump into this video, if you enjoy the video and find it to be helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're here for the first time and not yet subscribed, I post here twice a week. So consider hitting that red subscribe button for more videos just like this one, along with the bell so that you can be notified each time I post a new video. So for this tune, we're gonna be in the key of A major, and we're gonna be starting off with what we call a shuffle, which is a double stop played between the A string and the E string. So if you've never played double stops before, don't worry. This one is just between two open strings. You're welcome to just limit it to the one string if you want. You could either do just A or just E if you're not comfortable playing the two strings together just yet. But I would encourage you to give it a try and you know challenge yourself if you've never done it before. So here we go. We're gonna balance our bow between the A string and the E string, making sure everything's set where it needs to be. Go ahead and keep an eye on that. Double check, make sure everything's good to go. And then we have this rhythm to start. So our rhythm is one and a two and a three and a four and a, and it sounds like this. Alright, so that's going to be our little intro. Now if you've never done a shuffle before, I would go ahead and pause this video here and practice that because that is going to be, you know, one of those things that just comes up in all sorts of fiddle tunes in the future. So you'll definitely be using the shuffle in the future, it'll definitely come in handy. So go ahead and practice that. I'll wait, I'll be here when you get back and we'll move into the rest of the melody. For the rest of you, we're gonna keep going. We're gonna start on our E string. We've got a third finger on the E string, which is A, okay? So here is our rhythm. All right, so we went from the E string to the A string and then back to the E string in that little opening phrase. So go ahead and practice that if you need to. And then the next phrase, we again start on that same third finger A on the E string. All right, so that time we started off in the same way, but we ended in a slightly different way on the A string. Okay. All right, so that is the whole A part of this tune. So what I'm gonna do now is play both of those phrases together at a slower tempo so that you can play along with me or just listen so that you can catch anything that you didn't the first time around. So here we go. One, two, three, four. <laughs> So we've got our shuffle and then our phrase one, our phrase two, and then we go back and repeat those two phrases once again before moving on to the B part. So feel free to practice that if you need to take a minute and just go over the notes for the shuffle, for the A part, you're welcome to do that. Otherwise, let's keep going. Let's move along to the B part. So for this section, we are starting on the A string. We're gonna be beginning with a second finger, and this is gonna be a high second finger on the A string. So this is our C sharp. Make sure that it's in the right position, and let's go ahead and get started. So here we go. All right, so that's our first phrase. Again, we're starting on a C sharp, and then we're ending on open E. And then for the second phrase, we're gonna again start on that same C sharp, but this time we've got a little bit of a different ending. So listen closely for that. So if you didn't quite catch that lower note that we had just then, it was an E 
on the D string. So that's the one and only note that we play that's not on either the A string or the E string. So make sure that your first finger is in the right spot on the D string for that one note before heading back to the A string. So just like with the A part, once we've played these first two phrases in the B part, we go back and we repeat them. And then we have what's called a tag. So this is like a little outro. The shuffle was our intro and the tag is gonna be our outro of this tune. And this is how the tag sounds. We're gonna start on our third finger A on the E string and it goes like this. All right, so we've got our little shave and a haircut two bits there at the end and then we are done with the tune. That's the entire thing. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna play all of the B part for you so that you can hear how all of that sounds together with the tag. All right, so just as a recap, we've got our first time through the B part and then we repeat it and then we've got our tag. All right, so here we go. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> So that is the whole tune. That's all of Cripple Creek. I hope you enjoyed learning that one. It's a super fun tune. It's a standard, as I said, so you can play it in all sorts of situations. Most times if you find yourself in a jam or something like that, other musicians will know this one. It's, it's just a staple. You gotta know it. So I'm glad that you learned it today. Now, if you wanted to kind of amp it up a little bit and take this melody to the next level, you could add some double stops in there. Now, we had our double stops stops with the shuffle that we played in the very opening of this tune. But if you wanted to keep that fiddly sound going, you could just continue the double stops throughout the melody. And the way that we would do that is to simply play the A string and E string together throughout the whole entire tune. So if that's something you feel like you're up for at this point, you've learned the notes and you feel like you've got it, then definitely go for it. Give it a try, see how it goes. If not, you feel like you know, you're not quite there yet, you need to spend a little bit more time with the melody before moving on to double stops, that is totally totally fine, take as much time as you need with practicing this melody, but when you're ready, if you want to give it a try, it's definitely worth the try to add in some double stops. It sounds really cool and like I said, kind of takes it to the next level. So the way that we would add double stops into this A part, just as an example, is after we've played the shuffle, we would just keep our bow between the A string and E string. Instead of moving it over to the single E string, we would keep it on both strings. So it would sound like this. All right, so that's just the first phrase with double stops, but you would play the rest of the tune just like that. So if that's something you feel like you're up for, definitely go for it. A tip I would have for you with including double stops into this melody is to make sure that you're moving your elbow in the position that it needs to be in order to accommodate your hand position. That's so super important, especially when we're playing on the A string. We don't want our fingers running into the E string. So if you have your elbow slightly more forward in that position, that'll really help to bring your fingers around, stand everything up nice and tall so that you've got plenty of space in between your finger and the E string so that it's not hitting it and making that awful screechy sound that nobody likes, right? So make sure that you do that. That would be my tip for the double stops. Also keeping your wrist nice and straight and not collapsing it can be really helpful as well. So I hope you enjoyed learning Cripple Creek with me here today. Stay tuned next week. We've got some more great videos. We've got another tutorial and a, I believe, fiddle techniques video as well. So stay tuned for that. I look forward to seeing you then. Until next time, happy practicing.
If you'd like to further your support of The Tune Project, be sure to head over to patreon.com slash The Tune Project for information on that. And if you're planning on buying any music or doing any shopping on Amazon, be sure to head over to The Tune Project website, which I linked in the description box of all of my videos. Click my Amazon banner and whatever you purchase, a small percentage of that will go toward The Tune Project. This just keeps The Tune Project going and allows me to continue to create free content for you all.